let me just uh, give you an example of why individual voices are so important. I found myself in Greenwood, South Carolina. And Greenwood's a tiny place. Because my schedule was so packed, I had to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, and get in the car, and we're driving out to Greenwood, and I'm sleepy and I'm kind of grumpy, and it's raining, and pull into Greenwood, and uh, there are about 20 people there. And then suddenly, in the background, we hear this voice, clear as can be, says, fire up! And we look back, and there's this tiny woman, maybe five, one, five, two, and got a church hat, big hat. Turns out she's a city councilwoman in Greenwood, and she's famous for her chant. And they just keep on this, on this chant, fire up, ready to go, fire up, ready to go. And at first, my staff and I are looking at each other, and we're thinking, well, this is kind of strange. <laughs> but here's the thing. After a couple minutes, I was feeling kind of fired up. <laughs> I was ready to go. And so I hope all of you are feeling fired up. I hope all of you are ready to go. Let me hear you. Fired up. Fire. Ready to go. Fire. Fired up. Fire. Ready to go. to meet the uh, yeah, star of the hour. How are you? So you well, this is, I, I feel like I'm in the presence of greatness. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a feeling. Greenwood's greatness. Can I tell you how much you've done for us? Everywhere we go. He, you, the, your story has fired up so many people across the country. Do you feel like you've become sort of a mascot for w when, when the candidate's tired and he kind of thinks back on you and thinks about the fired up, ready to go lady? Well, I hope he would just play that song. There's a song, uh, and they have a little music with it now, fired up, ready to go. So I just hope he'll put that song on and just say, okay, this is Edith Childs, and she's telling me I can make it another day. Do you think that if you win the nomination, you'll bring your show on the road and campaign for him, maybe another state? Bring your chance? Uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know about that. I'm an old woman, remember. He says I'm 66, but I'm 59. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> you, you've heard the 
the story, do you feel like he's accurately portrayed the, the story as you remember it? The scene, I mean, like you said, he said you're 66 and you're 59. But that's okay. You know, men can't tell it. Okay, so that's okay. Just like they can't tell weight, you know, that's okay. But um, most of it is pretty true, what he says. So I just thought, fire up, we're ready to go. Fire up, we're ready to go. Fire up, ready to go. And each time I got a little bit louder. A little bit louder. I think that's what bothered the senator because it started off real low. And then it just escalated. <laughs> Make that look really bothered him because he didn't, he didn't know what was going on. And did I told you I'd come back to Greenwood. Now. That's right. That's, right. Kept you kept you so I, that's I how I want. That's how I want. That's why I'm the Obama queen. <laughs> <laughs> something about him that just made the difference. Because he's running, he just brings hope to so many people that we have not seen over the years. It will be remain fired up no matter what. No matter what you've gone through, no matter what kind of day you had, knowing that tomorrow's gonna be better. Then I get new energy and I'll be fired up and ready to go the next day. No matter what, just to remain fired up. 